Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. How's the mic? Mic look good right there? Jesus. How's... My hair is a fucking mess. Hey guys. I feel like this is long overdue. Let's start from the beginning. My name is Nick. And it's so lovely to meet you. I am three, four, four games deep into my YouTube channel. Um, and I feel like it was missing something, missing quite the introduction of yours truly. I feel like I just completely skipped over that little hump. And I feel like it was overdue. I feel like, I feel like I needed it to give introduction to my channel, what it means, why I have it in the first place, and why I love all of you so much for, for viewing it nonetheless without the introduction, mainly most majority of you probably already knew me knew who i was and knew that i was starting this but for those of you who don't i figured it'd be nice to throw you you know a little 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 something about me what what can i tell you like i said my name is nick uh i graduated from the art institute of phoenix uh with my bachelor's in media arts and animation so for the longest time i've had an affinity for anything art related really from from when i could first pick up a crayon uh, is when I first started actually like just drawing, scribbling, and that evolved into whatever it became, <laughs> whatever you want to call it now. <laughs> Various illustrations, tattoo sketches, uh, logos, logo designs. Even though that wasn't my field, it was just I loved creating. I loved doing things for and with people, collaborating with others. And that just grew into something so magical. Um, I love watching different uh, YouTubers bunch of them out there plenty of, of different YouTube's, uh, youtubers out there i could name a few but i won't this is me this is me time this is me and you time this that's what this is for <laughs> um the real reason i really I, I wanted to pursue um youtubing um or youtube content creation i should say um is because i i, I grew so attached to people that i loved watching on youtube and said you know what hey I could do that too. Why don't I? And take my own little spin on it for the whole the little quirks and things that I love expressing through conversation or through um, human interaction, which I miss so very much. That's another thing. I hope all of you are staying safe out there as, as well as you can during this time. It's it's terrible. Things things that are going on out there. I'm not, I'm not going to get into any religious or politics. I'm not about that. One, because it's just a topic that'll lead into a whole rabbit hole that we don't really need. And two, yeah, I, that's that's a conversation to be had elsewhere. That's not what this is for. I don't know of, of, of you, of the group out there that has viewed the bio of my YouTube channel. This is a basis for people to come and hang out and chat and comment and share through my experience of gaming a, a sense of of relief from from the life out there life life can be tough whether it's financially whether it's in households just however what, whatever type of stress um you may be feeling my hope is to relieve some of that through through gaming however however that experience may feed you but uh, in addition to that, uh, for those of you who <laughs> who know me in real life, I'm not sorry at all. In that, uh, it's a it's a different experience. I think from from when I first started this channel, and and the first part. I think which which um, I only it's a, it was only four games. How could I literally forget which ones I started? Because um, it was all around the same time. I want to say. It was Ghost of Tsushima and and The Last of Us, like, right after one another. Um, and from the beginning, and it just already, I'm just looking at the progress that I've made in, in this relatively short span of time. From from the very beginning, how, how nervous and kind of, I mean, I'm still kind of just weaning into it, getting getting my groove, getting my feel for, for this sort of setting, um, putting myself in front of the camera. And having this whole setup, trying to see what I can do differently, what kind of games I can play. If it's going to be just games, if it's if this channel is going to be dedicated to just one thing, or is it going to branch into different things? Which, in a sense, it kind of already has. Uh, if, if if you're watching this very video and you've also seen um, the last laugh, 
uh, my pride and joy that I we finally um, got to release it, and that was such a proud moment for not only myself but for the people involved and for the people that knew about it and encouraged us to to get that off the ground, forming its its legs and then taking off, and then at this point it's. Whoever knows what's gonna happen with that, but I'm um, it's it's I'm I'm proud of that because it's it's a first project, uh, one of the first real projects that uh, we built from the ground up with inspiration from you know comic books, from things that we love from from DC. And to kind of expand on that, I uh, I love comic book lore, mainly DC, Marvel. I was more, I I, I mean being honest, uh. It was like when Iron Man first came out that I, I was really then that I started to really get into reading Marvel comics and reading that side and finding out more and going deeper into that lore. DC Comics, I grew up watching Batman the Animated Series with my brother. It was, it was because of my brother for a lot of the things that you see either tattooed on me or hear me mention. It was through experiences and, and things that he loved and bled into me that I, I ended up loving and kind of it manifested inside of me differently. And now it's years later, I'm 25 and it's all coming out in, in different creative avenues, whether it be through streaming or recording and publishing to YouTube um, or my artwork. Um, that's another big thing uh, for, for those of you uh, viewers. I am colorblind. I do have colorblind glasses. They're scratched to shit. Uh, let me tell you. I do have color filtered glass, uh, colorblind glasses. I like to wear them to see the world differently. It's kind of like wearing sunglasses. I like to have just a different appearance whenever I kind of see fit. Uh, but also kind of just to like when I do art to not necessarily check my work. A lot of people are like, don't you wear those to, to verify? I'm like, no, because I mean, I live the rest of my life without them. And it took um, an extensive period of time for me to get used to, or rather, learn how to um, associate the world around me through color and apply it to different things. As long as it makes sense between me and you, that's all that matters. Um, and, then, and, and funnily enough, it's because of that that dictates a lot of different elements about like my fashion, for example, the lack thereof. <laughs> Monochromatic colors, I, I, you, you look at my wardrobe and it's all just blacks, grays, very dark toned colors just because um, I don't want to take the time to use my peepers and uh, I'm color match, even though I, I could say I'm relatively good, sort of, uh, matching different things from, from clothing to to color palettes depending on what it is and how enthusiastic I am in the moment. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that, that was just a little bit about me. I just figured I'd share um, just a little bit of, of who I am so you can kind of see and get to know more of the person behind the mic in between the headphones. Um, instead of just seeing this dude, this other YouTuber who's recording and, and publishing and streaming different games that he likes. Um, speaking of which, uh, I recently made a, a Twitch channel, uh, I'll, I'll post a link of that into the description below. First came my YouTube channel, y'all know that Crimson Line Gameplays, uh, that exact line transfers over to my Twitch channel, Crimson Line Gameplays, so if you run on over to Twitch, I do live streams more often on Twitch, I've done, oh, so far, only a couple of games, I've done Fall Guys, which is super popular right now. I love it so much, but I get so frustrated at the same time. And then a uh, cult classic, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Uh, you can catch me playing that f anytime, but pretty soon I'm, I'm hoping to get into, um, once I beat The Last of Us Part 2 and uh, Ghost of Tsushima, we're gonna get into, we're gonna get, we're gonna throw it back. We're gonna go all the way back to PlayStation 2, GameCube, um, Game Boy, Game Boy Color era with some of the games that I really want to experience with you guys over over YouTube. But over Twitch, I'm thinking maybe um, maybe some some more Fall Guys. Definitely, definitely more Fall Guys. Um, maybe Apex, even though I suck at it so much because I played it the one time when it first came out and I said, nope, don't want to do this. Um, I'm more of a story-driven guy, but uh, 
In the early days, the, the multiplayer that I did play was all Call of Duty, and then that bled into zombies, and it just kind of stuck there for the longest. So I think it'd be nice to, to play and stream live on Twitch and see, see where that takes us, and then leave YouTube for a little bit of both, but mostly recorded and, and published videos that were that are a little bit more refined that I can include my 3d NH intro that I love so very much and I actually made that in in college and just repurposed uh, some some good old footage that I made and I love it I'm gonna use it until uh, maybe I just want to refresh my channel but that'll be that'll be down the road but yeah for those of you who watch and continue to watch uh, videos on my channel I thank you so very much. Please continue to do so and share, like, comment, subscribe, all of those fun little things. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this little synopsis, little, I guess, autobiography, whatever you want to call it about me. If you want to see more videos like my gameplays, click that subscribe button and don't forget to pair that with that bell so you know uh, when the next one will be and you'll be notified. Um, but leave a comment, leave a like, or leave a dislike. Tell me what you liked or tell me what you didn't like and how I can improve what you may, or may, want, may or may not want to see. <laughs> if I could speak English, that'd be nice. But until next time, kiddos. Toodaloo.